All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a really interesting body armor solution from RMA Armament. If you follow the channel, you'll know I reviewed a lot of their products, and they don't just fit the traditional mold of a standard body armor company producing just normal body armor. They're always pushing the limits and innovating and coming up with really cool real-world solutions that people actually need, not just look good on paper. These things work. They're affordable, and again, they do offer unique solutions, including this one. This is pretty slick because it's called the SRT Body Armor Plate. Now, it's a level 3A+, which sounds interesting. And the SRT stands for Special Rifle Threat. So what this is, is an ultra lightweight, coming in at 2.5 pound piece of body armor that's got a really nice multi-curve and shooter's cut. And don't mind the water, I did just dunk this in water to show it floats and just to show how lightweight this actually is. Now, it is so lightweight though, you would think, again, that level 3A plating means it's just for handgun rounds. But in reality, this stops a lot of different types of rifle rounds, and we will be doing a full test down at the range. What's unique about it is it claims to stop 762 by 39 5.56 ball, and even that high-speed M193. So the M193, if you're unfamiliar, is a body armor killer. It actually zips right through a lot of steel armor, so it should be really interesting to test that out. I have a few rounds of that. We will shoot at this. And then it also uh, should stop 762 by 51 or 308. So imagine a level 3A plus plate that weighs 2.5 pounds actually stopping a 308. And then it does have a five-year warranty period. So I've been wearing this in some plate carriers. It's ultra light and having something like this is actually, in my opinion, all you really need. Um, you're really not gonna be running into like 30-06 black tip and stuff like that. In reality, you're more likely to put on your plate carrier if it's comfortable and lightweight. And this is both of those things, especially in a minimalist carrier. It's really easy to throw it on and it's not much more than five or six pounds total for both of the plates and the carrier. That just means if you're thinking about wearing just maybe like a soft arm or under vest for patrol or something like that, it may not be that much heavier just to throw on rifle rated plates like this special rifle threat plate from RMA Armament, especially when the plates are only 2.5 pounds a piece. So with all of that kind of out of the way, let's actually head down to the range and shoot this thing. Uh, that's the last thing to do because I'm a huge fan of it. And it comes in at a pretty reasonable price. He's coming at about $275 a plate. So not the cheapest, not the most budget plate in the world. But again, it's a very unique, a unique plate that's going to be ultra lightweight for those guys who are wearing it day in and day out for long periods of time, especially in the heat, especially lugging other gear. Lightweight plates are going to be really important. So let's see how this one stacks up. Now where the rubber meets the road, we're actually gonna put this armor to the test. Again, it's claim to fame is that it's ultra lightweight. It floats, yet it actually stops up to a 308 and SS109 fast flying 223. Let's see how it does. So I've got it set up downrange, clipped to a trash can full of just random stuff to kind of give it a little bit of give to simulate being worn in a plate carrier. I'm gonna be shooting it with standard 223 out of a 16 inch barrel AR-15. Then we will work our way up. Let's see how this does. So our hit is right here. You can see the plate actually stayed intact pretty well. And we definitely have a bulge coming out the back, a pretty substantial bulge, but actually not too bad in overall deformation. And you can see it popped out the plastic on the back here, but it actually kept its form really well. So it looks like it's sticking about out maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch, but overall definitely stopped it, no problem whatsoever. And the plate actually held its form without deforming too much. Next up is SS109. This is traveling incredibly fast and actually punches through a lot of level steel three, a uh, level three steel armor. So we'll see how it does on this plate. It's going to be surprising to see the results, I think. Hopefully it should stop it. Uh, but who knows? This is getting up there. So here is our hit right here. Let's pull it off and see. So it definitely popped the plastic out again but nothing made it through. So absolutely stopped it. 
It looks like it bulged out again about a half inch, maybe. About the same as the other one, so really impressive that it stopped that round. It's kind of shocking. And because of this material, it's not breaking away pieces of ceramic, so we should be able to get multi-hits out of here and do really well. So far, it's doing pretty impressive. Let's keep shooting it. Next up, 762 by 39. This is not traveling as fast, but it's got a lot more momentum on impact, a lot more force. So it's going to be a big dent. Let's see how it does. So here's our hit right here. All still a pretty tight little group when you consider that other armor would be knocking out ceramic at this point. Or if it was steel, that one would have punched right through. Um, but it stopped it. Now this has got a little bit bigger bulge but it stopped it, no issues whatsoever. And actually the back face deformation is not nearly as bad as some other plates that I've seen. So this is actually insanely impressive for such a lightweight piece of armor. Now for the big boy, a long barrel 308. I forgot the mag, but I've loaded one round up. We're gonna hit this thing and it's gonna hit hard. Let's see how it does. So guys, this actually hit right beside the 223 and it stopped it. Now the back face deformation is pretty wild and that would definitely hurt, but it actually stopped a 308. And I want to put that into perspective. A lot of this other really heavy ceramic armor and steel armor that weighs upwards of seven and eight pounds will stop a 308. But again, this weighs 2.5 pounds. It's insanely lightweight, it's thin, it floats, and it stopped the 308 in all these rounds. That is pretty darn awesome. So it already stops all of those common rifle rounds, and I believe that's what it's going to be designed for. So what we're going to do is hit it with five more shots to see its multi-strike capability with a 16-inch AR-15, probably one of the most common rifles uh, that it would be up against armor if we're talking just standard rifle that most people possess. Let's give it a try. So I flipped it over and you could see all these hits right beside each other and nothing made it through guys. So still that same bulge from the 308, but absolutely nothing made it through. That is pretty cool. It stopped all of it. Now you can see it started splitting from behind, but nothing actually made it through. And this is incredibly impressive. When you think about what this stopped versus other level three plus and level four and even level four plus plates, this did an amazing job and it is not designed to stop stuff like that 30-06 black tip or all of those types of rounds. This is really designed for somebody who wants something that's ultra lightweight and really easy to wear for a long period of time. A lot of people will buy those uh, eight pound plates that'll stop pretty much anything. And those are cool if you're only going to be wearing them for a little bit, maybe for a personal defense situation. But for a full duty use uh, kind of kit that you're going to be wearing all day, you're more apt to throw on your carrier if it actually is going to be lightweight and comfortable. And this definitely fits the bill. And when you consider what you're going to be traditionally up against, an AR-15 or an AK-47, this stops it amazing with very little back face deformation, only about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch now when you do step it up to a 308 it will stop it but you do get a lot more back face deformation but for a, a floating piece of armor that weighs 2.5 pounds has a really nice curve and shooters cut for an affordable price i mean this is a pretty darn awesome option for that guy who's going to be wearing it all day if you want more information about this definitely check all the linking and information in the description below and i do want to give a huge shout out ballistic inc for coordinating this review these guys helped me get this out to the channel and then definitely check out those links if you want to pick up this or maybe that uh, just traditional level 3a that i reviewed a little while back or some of that really tough ceramic armor again if you just wanted to wear it for a little bit uh, there are so many different options definitely check out my reviews on a lot of the plates that they've done uh, and have on their website Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.